Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artanian TV, another game of Interplanetary Eye Spy Gun on here. And we have here today an image from Sol 1516. So this was taken about 150 days ago, or thereabouts. So it's not that new an image, but it's fairly recent. Uh, okay, so this was taken last year. And the area we're looking at in this image is not where the, the city is up here. Um, uh, Aeolus City, whatever you want to call it, or um, Mount Sharp City, whatever. Um, I've been, I've done a lot of stuff on this. I'll come back to that a bit later. Um, the thing we're looking at is up here. You can just see this little mound up here, okay? So I've got it up in my folder here already for you. Uh, and we're going to be looking at quite a lot of things in this area. But for now, let's concentrate on this bit. Now, that part of the ridge that I showed you is this bit here. Let's show you the raw image first. This particular one here. Sol 1516, okay, here we go. We have this thing here, okay? And when you zoom in, it looks pretty vague, but it's very odd. It has what look like two eye-shaped structures. I'm not saying they are eyes, I'm just saying they're eye-shaped, okay? And you can see that in the raw image just there, okay? All right, and we have the clip here, there's the rule clip, and here's the enhanced clip. Colour corrected and contrast added. And you can see this here, very strange. And if you zoom in too far, it just gets really blurry. And, I mean, the, the image quality is pretty terrible, I must say, but there, some of these look like ruined structures, and there's some very weird stuff going on in here. Um, they look like ruined buildings, some of these. And there's this weird mound here with some strange details behind it. And uh, it's, very, it's very choppy and, and distorted, the image. And uh, it's hard to see in any clarity what we're, we're actually looking at here. So, I mean, it, it kind of looks like it's been fudged out or, or messed with, this image. And NASA do mess with these images. We know they do. Uh, that's been proven many a time before by me and other researchers. So there we go. But this thing was very strange. I don't really know what to make of it. Um, is it a building? Is it natural? It could be natural. But it's got this weird structure to it. And I think I, I don't think I enhanced it much more than that, actually. This one here is a bit darker. You can see that now. It's got like a part sticking up here and it goes back. Very odd indeed, and this thing here is rather strange. This looks like a ruined building or tower that's collapsed, perhaps. Who knows? Too vague to tell, really, but this there are some interesting shapes in here, and I'm sure that some of them are artificial. Okay, there was also this thing. This is from the same soul, the same day, and uh, it's from a different image, which is this one. I'll show you the raw image. We have what looks like some kind of weird bunker type structure here, okay? It's there. I'll show you a close up of it. We have it here. I've done lots on this and I really I really didn't know what to make of it. And uh, it has what looks like an entrance to it here. You can see these upright structures in the shadows here. All right. Very odd indeed. It's got this kind of square thing on the end of it, hanging off the end. And you've got very upright looking structures. Now, of course, this may be natural as well, and it may have kind of just eroded and broken away at one end. But it also has this rather strange pattern on it, which makes me think it may be artificial. Now, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like a, a circular kind of weird shape here with those parts coming off it. Now, I did enhance that a bit more, <clears throat> and I, there may be a later enhancement where you can see that a bit better, like here. I've darkened it a bit more. Now, of course, we're in quite close here, so that doesn't actually help. If you get too close, it kind of makes it blurry. Okay? Look at this pattern. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a, like a, a sun pattern when you've got a, a shape here with all these parts coming off it. I don't know what to make of that. It's very odd, um, very odd indeed. And you've got one that looks like a pipe that comes around here, along the side, and then goes down here, okay? 
very strange. Also, we have these structures at the front here. Now, I don't know if you can see these very well because it's very bright. We've got a square here, and we've got a very long straight structure here. There's lots of stuff buried in this area, and I've been, I've been, this has been sitting on my desktop now for a long time, this stuff. And unfortunately, the image quality isn't great, and you can't see everything in great detail. But what you can make out are general shapes. And in the, the foreground of this image, this, this is enhanced, obviously, you can see the bunker here, or possible bunker. Very odd indeed. What is that? And you've got long straight structures in front of it. Now, in this area, um, there are loads and loads of crazy structures that look like they're buried in the sand. There's also this thing up on the ridge here. This is from a TIFF image. Very strange structure. You've got a long curved structure here with a dome at the end of it and what looks like a, a darker spot to it, which could be a window or something, I don't know. Um, this is a long way off, and in fact it's very, very large. This is probably hundreds and hundreds of feet long, this thing. Very weird. I don't know what to make of this. But it's another case of if you get too close to it and, and zoom in, it just gets blurred. But what is it? It's very odd. Um, so let's try and get that in context for you. Now this may take a minute to... There we go. So here's the ridge. This is a TIFF image of the uh, the area, uh, I think, done by NASA, this one. So this is an official image, and it's, a, it's pretty good, pretty good quality. Here's that possible thing on the, on the ridge line here, but this is a slightly different angle to the one I showed you earlier. But what this does show is that some of these things do look very upright and look like possible ruined buildings, like here, and here, and here. Very odd. And there's that weird structure. Don't know what that is. It may be natural, but I did find that interesting. And here's the possible bunker here. Okay, this is very odd. Very odd looking structure. Um, there's a lot in this area. I mean, I could go on and on and on. I'll, I'll try not to keep this too long for you. Uh, but there, there was also. Uh, let me show you that other thing up on the up on the uh, mountain here. You've got the mountain ridge coming up here, sloping up. And this is behind it, by the looks of it. You've got that dome and a very long curved thing. What is that? That is very odd. And it's kind of really dark on the top, like it's got a, a weird sort of ridge giving it a shadow. It's very strange. Um, don't know what that is. It's just very odd looking. And it doesn't look in, it looks kind of out of place when you compare it to the other, the other colors of, of the rock and the, and the luminosity of the, of the, the rock substance here. That's very strange. Okay, weird. Very weird. So there, there was also this other folder. I'll, I'll quickly show you this because this is near there, and I think is an example of some fake, some fakery by by NASA. Uh, we have this image. I'll show you the raw image. This one, okay. And we have a Mount Sharp in the background which is really quite a cool image because you, you're looking through the, um, I think this is called Murray Butts or something, you're looking through the, the this little miniature sort of valley here and we're looking down into the lake bed and Mount Sharp is up behind it. But when you zoom in, you have this thing here. Now, this looks like it's part of something on this slope, this just here. But when you zoom in, it just kind of disappears like somebody's fudged it out. Now, this is the the JPEG version, okay? 1344 by 1200 pixels, 230 kilobytes. Now, if you get the BR2 version, this is 359 kilobytes. It's a, it's a smaller image, it's 1024 by 914, but it's only been slightly compressed. So this is actually better quality. When you zoom in, this thing that's sticking up here, it, it still looks like it's ghosted out. Now, is that something in the background that's part of this structure, or is it something on, on this ridge? It, it's almost like somebody at NASA <coughs> has been fudging out these backgrounds and has sort of gone over something that was stuck on this ridge here and, and not carefully gone round it like they have with this. Very odd. 
Let me show you the enhancement of that because it kind of shows a, a bit more. Uh, let's go to that one. Yes. Now, it needs to take a while to load up because it's been enlarged <coughs> and enhanced. So, there we go. It's a large file. Very odd indeed. It, it It's almost like someone couldn't decide whether this was in the foreground or background or they tried to fudge it out. I, I mean, it looks like it's been blurred out here. You can see that this comes up here and this looks like it should go up and be part of it, but it's not. It's all kind of weird. And you can see that's joined to there, which is then joined to there, which is joined to this. This is the same luminosity as this shadow here, okay? Which says to me that it's on the ridge line, this slope here. It's not in the background, okay? You can see that pretty clearly, that it's joined to this. And that's all part of this slope. So why is this part of this thing that's obviously part of the same thing all kind of smudged and blurred out and if you follow this along there's a structure that goes all the way along here and we have this weird structure here with a line a kind of line coming through it and it it's almost like there's a building here or some kind of ruin or remains of a, a building foundation or something and this looked like it was joined to it, but somebody at JPL couldn't really decide whether to leave it in or out, and they've left a part of it in there, okay? So what the hell's going on here? So it's like there's a structure, a, a large structure all the way along here. I'll show you the darker version again. This is really darkened up. Now you can see what I'm talking about. When you really darken it up there, you, you've got this part here, which is obviously part of this slope. And that bit next to it, they can't, it doesn't make any visual sense whatsoever. And then we have this structure here with this line going through it here. Very odd indeed. This looks like image tampering to me. What, I mean, what else can I say? And, uh, you know, the BR2 image is actually only supposed to be compressed by 5%. In other words, this is actually quite a good quality image. And when you zoom in, it doesn't break up too badly. I mean, it will do eventually, but it's not a terrible quality image. Let's look at that on this one, the raw one, okay? So it breaks up, but it's not terrible, okay? Let's look at the normal JPEG, which is actually worse, even though it's a bit bigger in dimensions. It's even worse, and it's got all these blocks going through it, you can see here, where it's been over-compressed. So that, to me, looks very much like image tampering, and there's something here they don't want us to see. And I've been, I've, I've been looking at these backgrounds for years now, as, as well as lots of other channels have, and they, they're coming to very similar conclusions. Um, I know Mars Anomalies has done a few uh, videos about this sort of image tampering on, on Mars in some of these images. Some of these backgrounds just don't make any sense. There's something here and it's being fudged out because it may look very symmetrical or, or unnatural. We also have up on the mountain, if you look at this again, we look at the background now, we go up here on the ridge, above the ridge uh, of, of the lower slopes of Mount Sharp here, and we have this dome-like structure, kind of part of the mountain with a load of erosion on it. Now, let me show you the enhanced version of that because it's hard to see unless you enhance the contrast. Okay, there we are. Now, this particular part of the mountain seems to be a lot more eroded than all the other parts that I've looked at. And it seems to me that these erosion marks that you can see coming down are due to the fact that there was water coming out of here. Now, these look like water outflow pipes. One, two, and three. Three of them. Okay? And the possible double one there. I don't know. Now, what you've got to do is get the whole thing in context. Let's have a look at this uh, one here. And see if we can see it a bit clearer. Okay. Now, if you zoom in too far, it doesn't get any clearer. But there seems to be a pipe outlet here. Three of them in a row. And all this erosion coming down here as if there was a kind of sewage outflow pipes here or something. 
to it, because if you look at the other rocks, they don't have the same amount of weathering. Now, this isn't caused by rain, because if it was caused by rain, we would have similar marks on all the other rocks around it. I mean, it's not just going to rain on one part of the mountain. So this must be caused by outflow water coming. Now, uh, this may well be natural, but there seem to be three outlets here. One, two, three. And I'll see if I can find some more clips of that, because there are shots of that from different angles, taken over different years by the rover. And I, I think this may have something to do with the aqueduct type thing that I found, the aqueduct type structure. Um, it may be linked in some way to that. So that was interesting. So I'm going to move on because uh, I can put more clips of these in at the end. I'll, I'll see if I can find some other angles of that and put them in at the end. And of course, there will be links to the, all these main images as well below. Okay, right. So let's go back to this. And we have uh, the, the city structures on Mars. Now, I've had a lot of people trolling my channel recently saying, oh, you're delusional and you're an idiot or whatever. And I, I try not to take it too seriously. But basically, <clears throat> if you were coming to my channel from nowhere and you've never seen any of this stuff before, as I'm sure some people have, because I now have over 17,000 subscribers. And I'd like, to <clears throat> I'd like to thank all the recent subscribers for joining on. Thanks very much for coming on board. Great to have you here. Um, but yeah, I do get a lot of criticism from new people coming along, well, not necessarily subscribers, but just viewers. And they, they do seem to get a bit confused and a bit sort of um, uh, almost offended by the fact that I'm suggesting that there was life on Mars, which I find very odd indeed, especially when you have evidence like this bunker. Uh, the Mars bunker houses here, this is a, a recent video. A lot of you may have seen that. There's this thing here, Mars Fortified House. Uh, that's another recent video. Most of you have probably seen that as well. It's got little pillars. I mean, the bunker itself was, was discovered by Martin Graney. And uh, I think this is a, <laughs> just an amazing find. <clears throat> I'll just let that play through a little bit. And not only is there this bunker-like structure here, which is actually very small. This doorway thing here is probably only a few foot high. Okay, It's not full size like you would expect to see on Earth. And you have a very rectangular structure here, part of a ruined building. There's lots of stuff in this image. There's, in fact, a couple of images of this area. And let's go a bit closer and have a look. I mean, this is just insane. Uh, this looks like a, a, a kind of concreted up bunker, bunker that may have been used thousands of years ago, don't know. But it looks intelligent. It has like a window-like structure. And um, this is not in Gale Crater, this one. This was taken by the Opportunity Rover, which is thousands of miles away to the northwest of, or mainly to the west of the uh, Curiosity in Gale Crater. So this is in a much more barren part of Mars. So if there are bunkers right in the middle of nowhere on Mars, then it's no surprising that we see so many buildings in Gale Crater like this, which is on top of a mound. It even has step light structures to it here. We've got pillars something very odd above it here which is a bit blurred out but of course the image quality isn't great and the, and the camera on on the rover is less than two megapixels and is zooming in a long way and the, the, a lot of these things are miles away from the rover like we have here but this is an example of a picture from the the uh, chem cam now the chem cam is the one that normally takes shots, of, um, real close-up shots of the ground just in front of the rover uh, to analyse the soil and the, and the uh, pebbles and everything else and the sand and rocks. Um, but occasionally they will zoom in to the background and, and look at stuff like this. Is it going to play? <laughs> oh dear, the graphics card is struggling, struggling a bit here. There we go. And you have this structure here. This is a building. Now this is also miles away. This is right up on Mount Sharp, and uh, it's a good quality image, but it's still blurry because it's not really focused. What they've done to, to save time with the um, with the cameras on the on the rover, they've set them to infinity focus, which means that it never really focuses exactly on something. It's a bit like the landscape setting you might have on your on your own camera, on your own digital camera. It's very good for taking long panoramic shots of, of uh, mountains and stuff like that, but when you look at the p picture up close and zoom into it, everything's blurred. 
Okay, so that, that was weird. That's worth looking at. Mars Building, City Structures in Curi Curiosity ChemCam Images. That's well worth looking at. There's lots of, there's a little pyramid-like structure here, if you can see that, just there, sticking up. So a lot of these structures, at a glance, do look natural. But I, I think, you know, if you're going to build something, why not build into the side of a mountain? You've already got lots of big structures here. You can just dig into them, just tunnel into, into, into these uh, structures and live inside, offering a lot of protection against radiation. And that is one of the major problems with Mars, is the, the amount of radiation on the surface. So if anyone does live, live there or did live there recently, which I think they did, um, they would have to live inside large rock structures to protect themselves from the intense radiation. This is another one I published recently, one of my favourites. Um, the Mars Dome, 300 foot tall. This may be bigger than that, maybe 400 foot tall. Doesn't look very big in the image, but this is a long way away. Let's play that through a little bit just to let it enhance. I mean, this is a really cool one. It's just a really clear dome, and it looks very out of place on this ridge line. There we go. So you can check that one out as well. So if you're a new subscriber, do check out my playlist. I've got it up here. Uh, it's called Top 20 Mars Buildings and Ancient Alien Ruins. There's also a hell of a lot of other playlists I've got up here. Um, some of them are shorter, some of them are very long. Uh, I'd probably recommend that you go with some of the shorter playlists like this one. Um, in fact, there's only 19 videos in that and it should be 20. Uh, I think I must put one back in there that I've taken out. So there we go. Um, I mean, there's loads of stuff here to look at. I mean, if you're a new subscriber, there is tons and tons of evidence. There's also the house here. This was also found by Martin Graney. This was a really cool one, one of my favourite finds. Okay, there's also this thing. Now, this was found by Rami Barilan, uh, who's also a member of UFA like me and Martin Graney and others. Very cool find. This was found a couple of years ago, I think. And uh, it's not as big as it looks like in the image. This pyramid-like structure is only about, probably about 10 or 20 feet tall, but it has a beveled edge. Now, as last time I looked, normal rocks don't, did not have beveled edges, like this, perfectly beveled. And it's got these straight lines coming down here, and it's got almost like steps in it as well. Very interesting. Let's let that enhance a bit. So. There are loads and loads of these structures. Some of them are very small, like this one, and it's not a very large. This may be the top of a buried structure on this ridge line. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. That is a really cool one. Dwarf Pyramid on Mars, that one's called. So we also have this Martian City on Mount Sharp, which I touched on earlier. Uh, Mars City up close, ancient pyramids, domes and houses. Lots of interesting structures up here. And uh, occasionally they do give us a high quality TIFF image of the area, which is not being downgraded. And you can see some of these things a bit more clearly. We don't get them very often. So do check out my playlist. There are many, many buildings on Mars. And as well as that, there are hundreds and hundreds of objects. And there are many, many statues. There's about 30 statues I've found. There's a 26 in this main video here, um, the one with all the faces on the front, there's 26 statues in there. Some of them may not be, but I think most of them are. Uh, there's also loads of objects I put into a um, compilation video recently. There's about 50 odd different objects in that video. Uh, there are other things like UFOs, strange UFOs seen above the surface as well. And uh, many, many, many things. And even skulls and human, mummified humanoids and things like that on the, on the surface. So do check those out if you haven't already. There is also this one. I thought I'd chuck this in at the end as well because this is one of my favorite finds. And this is the giant alien sphinx on Mars, part two. Um, I did a couple of videos on this. And this is about 200 foot long, this thing. Uh, is it gonna play if my graphics card will let me? I've got a lot of stuff up on, oh yeah, there we go. There we have it. Now. This was actually in the press about a, a year and a half ago or something, or a year ago, and uh, was heavily criticised by people in the press at the time, by some people in the press, not all of them. And uh, 
It's a giant sphinx and it's 200 foot plus long from here to here. Could be 250. It might even be 225 feet long, just like the one in Cairo. I don't know exactly how long it is, but it's very similar in size. The one in Cairo, I think, is 225 or thereabouts. And so is this one. This was in the uh, Huffington Post. Made the Huffington Post, I think. When, what's the date on this? I'll put links to these in, in the description for you to, if, if you haven't seen them. Uh, oh, this was March last year. So, yeah, about a year ago. And it was also in the Daily Mail. It was also in a bunch of other newspapers. Um, in fact, this even got a response from a guy from uh, NASA. The, um, Lee Spiegel here actually sent the image to uh, somebody from NASA who, who quotes in here about this find. Okay, yeah, maybe an optical illusion, but the image is quite clear. And the Sphinx-like structure can be seen in multiple images taken over the last few years as the Curiosity rover slowly motored around this fascinating landscape, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's what I sent them in. But there is a quote here from NASA spokesman, JPL, Guy Webster, saying, the rock that this commentator says looks like a sphinx is in a part of the image that is not sharp. Okay, that's true. It's in the background, it's not in focus. Uh, tens of thousands of very sharp images have been returned by NASA's Mars rovers. Within the image, there is, at some point, a limit to the resolution, and you can keep zooming in until it gets blurrier and maybe has JPEG compression artifacts. So basically what you say is that is, this doesn't exist because it's not sharp and in the foreground of the image. Uh, the list of Martian alleged anomalies continues to grow and includes strange lights, domes, statues, carvings, ships, buildings, skulls, bones, animals, boxes and tools. Yeah, mostly on my channel, a lot of these things, but also on other channels. Um, and then we go on about parodolia and the usual nonsense that, you know, it's just our eyes playing tricks on this. But this is clearly in the image. Uh, there's also this article here. Uh, so basically, the, 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 the NASA guy says it's, it's like looking at, uh, taking a photo of something on the beach and then over zooming into the image or something. Well, when was the last time you saw a 200 plus foot sphinx on the beach? Okay, and just because it's miles away from the rover and not in focus does not mean it doesn't exist. If you were to take a, a photograph of a car outside your house, you know it's a car. If you were to take a photo of a car going past you on the motorway, it would be very blurred because it would be going quickly, depending on the, how fast you were going and how fast it was going and how good your camera is. But it would look blurred, but it's still a photograph of a car. Just because a photograph is blurred or not fully in focus does not mean that that object doesn't exist. And in fact, it is a bit blurred, but this is miles away. And like I said, the camera isn't focusing on this object. It's focusing in the foreground. And uh, even in the raw image, you can see it's out. This rock is, about, is only about a, kilo, uh, a kilometer away, this big rock here. This is about two to three kilometers away, possibly a bit further, okay? So there's a huge distance between this rock and that sphinx. And it is there, uh, and, and it can be seen from multiple angles. So these things do exist. There are, there are bunker houses like this. Let's play a little bit of that, will it let, let me play? Yeah, that's the only enhancement there. There's fortified structures on top of mounds that look like something from Game of Thrones. There are these weird, huge sort of structures with, with long buildings next to them and, and little pyramids. There's domes. There are many, many structures on Mars and they are all over Mount Sharp. A lot of them are heavily ruined, so don't expect them to look pristine. A lot of people come on the channel and they, they look at things and they say, well, that thing doesn't look shiny and new. Well, why would it look shiny and new? Uh, these things could be many thousands or, or millions of years old and uh, are heavily eroded and were probably hit by a nuclear bomb at some point or, or some kind of terrible cataclysm. So, and we also have um, things like, uh, or people like Dr. John Brandenburg, who said there were, was probably a nuclear war on Mars that may have destroyed the civilization. You can see stuff about him on, on, on the, in some of my playlists and on some of my videos. There's one called Mars Explosions, which is all about that. Mars Explosion 1941, it's called. So do check out my older videos. 
Um, I am struggling at the moment because uh, Google have changed the algorithm on YouTube, which means that all, none of my short videos are getting viewed, and they've removed the adverts on my shorter videos because Google are trying to compete with Netflix or something and trying to turn themselves into a, a mainstream kind of TV channel. And they're trying to get rid of what they call clickbait videos, which is any video less than about three minutes long, we think, th um, three to three and a half minutes long. So they're punishing uh, people who, who make short videos because they're trying to encourage longer, more informative TV-like programs. I have done TV shows, so that's not really a problem for me, but it means that there's no actual benefit in making short, th quick three-minute or two-minute videos anymore because they simply will not be put up and viewed by anybody because uh, YouTube will not promote them. And they're removing advertising revenue. They've had, I think they've called it Adpocalypse, where basically... Uh, some of the major advertising companies have pulled out of YouTube due to the fact that uh, their advert adverts were coming up against extremist content. Can't really blame them for that. But that inadvertently means that channels like mine are struggling because we do re rely on advertising revenue to pay us. And it doesn't pay very well. You get a small fraction of a payment. And some days you only earn a couple of dollars a day. Some days you might earn $5 a day, but it's really not very good unless you're getting millions of views a week, okay? So please do support the channel, please do watch more videos, go back through, watch some of my playlists and, and go back and watch some of the longer documentaries that I've done, there are hundreds of them. Uh, but you know, if you wanna watch the short two minute or three minute clickbait style videos, then that's fine. But uh, that, that won't help me at all because they don't have any adverts on anymore. So what? YouTube are trying to do with with uh, with people's channels it is in, in, insane. Uh, it, it's squ going to squash a lot of people and force them to to, to leave YouTube. I think, and uh, I'm not going to leave YouTube, but it is a struggle. And revenue has gone down drastically in the last week or two, in the last year, in fact. And I think they started making some of these changes last year, in March and April last year. And basically what it means is that when, when you click on a video, your videos don't come up in the feed up here so much. And they've also um, decided to unsubscribe many people. So if you are a new subscriber or an old subscriber, please go to my channel and press the bell, okay? Because if you don't watch the videos regularly, I think after a couple of months they unsubscribe you without telling you, which I think is outrageous. So you may want to resubscribe, but press the bell here, which means that you will get notifications um, and you will get a little email to remind you when I've released a new video. So thanks for watching everybody. I'm sorry that was a bit long, but there's a lot of stuff here on Mars and it's, it's not easily explained in a, in, a, in a three minute video anyway. There's just simply too much to see. And a lot of people are very skeptical about it, but that's quite natural. But you, what you've got to do is, is compare a lot of these findings back to back to get an idea of what's actually there. There are buildings everywhere, there are statues everywhere, there are skulls everywhere. If you know where to look and if you know where to find them. And here are some examples here. Mummified heads and skulls. There's a skull here, these are statues. I mean, they're all over the place. And some of it may be pareidolia, but uh, looking at buildings and recognising a building or a sphinx, is that pareidolia? Pareidolia is about, is, is recognising shapes and faces and things like that in random stimuli. Now, this is not random stimuli, okay? A building is not random stimuli. What's random about a building? There's nothing random about it. It's constructed. So. You cannot use the term pareidolia to, to explain something that isn't random. You can use it to explain things like just looking at pebbles or looking at clouds. Yes, of course you can. So it does exist, at least in that sense. But these are not random stimuli. This is not random. This is made. This is shaped by humanoid hands. Okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you soon.